This is Danny J. from Los Angeles and the film of sports with Helen Pierre Chuck and Stephen from a film that we're showing at Festival of Driverless. Gentlemen, tell me what you guys are doing. Tell me about Driverless. Driverless is a comic show about the shenanigans of office politics and it's the first film movie with no drivers. And Chuck wrote and directed it. Fantastic. Chuck, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's one of the most exciting things I've ever done because I've spent a lot of my life being in corporate environments uh, and I have a lot of feelings about driverless cars, so I have to put these two things together and sort of make a, a theme of uh, how the two can be similar. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but that's kind of what the film's about. Well, without spoilers, and to an audience who hasn't seen your film, that film yet, would you also give a little clue as to what you're thinking about driverless cars are? Uh, the other day I was trying to yeah, you're, navigate you're uh, on my yes. cell phone uh, and, and it told me to drive into a parking lot. Um, I don't want a car to do that. To yeah, me. I think that. So I think no, I think we're not quite there yet. Uh, I would agree, and I think this is really something that's going to be super, super appropriate to bring the cultural front point that we have here. And then, Steve, tell me more about your role. Uh, so you're welcome. I actually played the uh, Yes, because of the pandemic, um, I actually ended up playing uh, two guys in the car uh, Woodrow, Quaker, and, uh, and uh, Randy, a redneck, and I also played Glenn, the guy in the office who. It's his first day on the job, and uh, it's all haywire because they've cut all the budgets, and uh, I'm replacing 23 people, so it's very funny. So not even one hat of three, but one hat of 23 as your character role is. Absolutely, and that's what it was like uh, producing and acting in this movie, is I just felt like I wore so many hats, but it's but it's all fun. It's, it's a great script, and it's a great project, and that's what you live and die for in the arts. 100%. Now tell me, how big is your casting? Our crew and all this? Our crew totaled um, 11, uh, and that includes our cast too, and that was our biggest shoot. Um, that was an outdoor shoot, and that was 11 people, but we shot it over a period of time, uh, so it ranged from 8 to 11, but 11 being the most. It was tight and concise, and everyone over their asses off. Well, congratulations on making something so, so brief and actually so articulate with how many people you have on set come to life. What do you want to have happen? with this now it's a short do you want it to be a feature what do you want to have happen next Jeff? I would absolutely love that to happen, but right now uh, we made a, uh, a previous comedy short and we had so much fun going to film festivals. We won 24 awards uh, and met so many wonderful people like yourself the last time we had a film. So we just wanted to do that same thing with this film, just go out there and see it, a lot of see it at a lot of places and uh, enjoy it. Excellent, excellent answer.